welcome to Chosen Hill School's virtual open evening. I am Kirsten Harrison and I have the privilege of being the head teacher here at Chosen Hill School. I'm delighted you've joined us this evening to hear about and take a tour around the wealth of provision, opportunities and facilities our school has to offer. This evening I'm going to take you on a tour of the school, tell you about and introduce you to the staff and students and the staff and students themselves will be telling you about their roles and experiences at school. You'll probably have some questions already and you may have more once you've finished watching this presentation this evening. Whatever are your questions, you can send them into school using the email address you can see on the screen and I'll be answering the questions in a Q&A session on the 8th of October. Students from all different starting points achieve well across the curriculum here at Chosen and this was the case yet again this summer. We were delighted that so many students achieved the Grade 9 GCSE across all the diverse range of core and foundation subjects. Year 9 is the GCSE preparation year. The English students are studying those basic skills, really enforcing their literary understanding so that they can be successful on their GCSE texts in Year 11. One mark to two marks to three. Good morning. You've got a massive chance of moving from two marks to three marks. Then it's just a case of once we've expanded in the question and we've done this bit, we're now doing the and simplify. The simplified bit then is just... You've just dropped in on a GCSE Maths consolidation lesson where they've been preparing for the GCSE mock exams this, uh, this term. We place a particular emphasis on literacy and numeracy when students join us in Year 7. We have a five-year curriculum plan. We call Year 7 the transition year, Year 8 the foundation year, and we focus in those two years on ensuring that they have all of those basic skills fully embedded. We offer additional support in learning mental time through what we call Ink Tank and Number Ninjas, so that every child, when they reach that Year 9 phase in preparation for GCSE, has all the skills they need to be successful. Okay, so we're going to do test three on our times table one today. Here in Chosen Hill, we encourage students to embrace challenge and to see mistakes as practice and as a route to, to greater understanding. Students are encouraged to take risks in their learning, to set challenging goals for themselves. These opportunities are planned into subject curriculums and we provide links through our website of details of each subject's curriculum programme, home learning approach to encourage independent study and the opportunities for students to develop their cultural capital. At Chosen Hill School, we plan for success within our curriculum subjects. However, I'm very clear that subject knowledge, mindset and resulting success don't come by magic. It is the result of hard work, perseverance and commitment by the student and good teaching, encouragement and feedback from staff. You will have seen Year 11 working independently studying in science and they are part of that ethos of growth mindset. We underpin metacognition and growth mindset with what we simply call Mark Plan Teach. Mark Plan Teach places formative assessment at the heart of our practice which basically means we identify what the barriers for learning are for any given student and we remove them and we work on feedback to ensure that they know what to do next in their learning. Okay, so if you think it's a solid, put it in the solid column. If you think it's a liquid, you put it in the liquid column. If you think it's a gas, you put it into the gas column. Okay? Off we go. Within science, we cover a wide range of topics and we encourage the pupils to get involved, to do the practical tasks and to engage with the practical tasks. The topics they cover will cover a wide range of science areas. We do biology, we do chemistry, we do physics with them. We encourage them to work in groups, to get involved with practicals. We also encourage them to come up with their own ideas and then investigate their own ideas. So some examples of things we might do with the pupils would be we will ask them to make some predictions about um, forces and what different forces may be needed to move objects. They will then go away, use force meters and then investigate those forces and see whether their predictions were correct or not. Um, we might then get them to use the microscopes to look at cells 
they will look at plant cells, they will also then take samples of their own cells if they want to and look at their own cells underneath the microscopes. We will also allow them to come up with their own questions that they want to investigate within topics. So we will look at the topic of sound. We will encourage them to then come up with their own questions that they would like to investigate about sound and how sound works and how they're able to hear things, particularly hearing things with different directions and the directions that they hear it. There will be opportunity if they want to, to take part in a lung dissection so they can actually then see how the lungs are adapted and how the lungs then carry out their function. Our performance arts faculty demonstrate their ambition for our students in the challenging plays that they select for GCSE and A-level. But I remember when I arrived here in my first year being blown away by their performance of The Sound of Music. And last year we performed Cats, Andrew Lloyd Webber, and in February, A Christmas Carol. What can we do? We can only guess, Uncle Vanya. Shall they? Shall they for the days before us? And for the long evening? Shall bear the trials that fate sends us? We shall love for others and have pity on us. Oh. It's great to see these sixth formers who've experienced seven years of that building of grit and resilience at Chosen Hill School. I have the highest expectations of our young people, not simply in their progress in learning, but how they grow as good citizens. I want our students to be people we would all be proud to know as our family, friends and neighbours. When our young people from this school go out into the world, I want them to make a very positive difference. I believe that this school has a duty to develop young people's grit and resilience, qualities at the heart of growth mindset, and help them develop skills and confidence to meet challenge, cope with pressure, and really work hard. We're going to be looking at the different threats that are posed to various computer systems. All right. Um, one of the things that's been in the news lately, in fact if you listen to the news this morning, was about the threat posed to UK universities. We put growth mindset principles into practice in a programme we call Going Green. We focus on students' attitude to learning and attitude to home learning. We reward the learning behaviours as well as the outcome on a scale of red, amber, green. We celebrate students' learning attitudes through our Go Green assemblies and awards. In September each year, it is fantastic to see the teaching staff of this school receive hundreds of messages across the staff from students sharing how a particular member of staff has helped them to change their way of thinking and add to their learning behaviours by helping them to go green through the previous academic year. We want to know what is CryptoLocker, what was Operation Tova, who was Evgeny Bogachev, what was the reward for capturing him, and how much? Take five minutes, guys, and have a look and see what you can find out there, and then we will be picking some people to answer the questions. Right, but another option is a call and response texture. So I will teach you the call, hopefully first, and then, having taught you the call, Callum, our expert drummer, will be able to put in a response for us. So I'd like you to do a call like this, please. Two, three, four. Drum, two, everyone, go. One, two, listen carefully. One, two, everyone, go. Good. Now, Callum, when we finish that, I will then shout, Callum, and then you're going to fill in those gaps, please. Ready? Everybody else, this is the call. Callum will be the response. One, two, three, four. Two, three, go. The school offers an extensive trips and visits programme which regrettably was curtailed this year and of course we wait for guidance in the changing situation with COVID-19 for when we can launch the programme in full again. But the trips programme includes the trenches to Belgium and France, residential trips in France, Germany and Spain, the French exchange, year eight activities camp in Wales, geography field work, all the curriculum phases get an opportunity to experience learning outside the classroom. That's not to mention the World Challenge Expedition and the Duke of Edinburgh Bronze, Silver and Gold Expeditions, as well as a wide range of subject-specific trips and events. 
Hi, and um, welcome to Languages. So in year seven, we divide the year group into three and students either do French, Spanish or German and they follow that language through all the way to year eight. We think this gives them a really good foundation in languages because they get lots of um, contact time with their language teachers. They can then choose to do these languages for GCSE. Our approach to languages um, in year seven and eight, we use parallel text. So we put the language on one side, the French, Spanish or the German, and the English on the other side. We then teach students phonics and do lots of reading aloud and lots of participation through listening activities. This means that students really understand exactly what the text means because the English is provided and it means that they do excellent work on pronunciation. We found that this leads to really enthusiastic and really able learners who love coming to language lessons and who continue to do GCSE. So around 60% of our students go on to do GCSE and we also have good numbers at A-level. The school has an enviable reputation for sport. As well as the extensive school fields up at our school site, we have fields down at the rugby club, sports hall, two gymnasiums and extensive experience in working at all, in all sports at all levels. Looking up then, looking up. Good, well played and again and again. Play on, play on, just stay there. Welcome to Chosen LPE. Um, I'm on the field and we've got football going on behind us, we've got some athletics going on on the track over there, we've got netball on the top courts and we've got some stuff going on in the sports hall as well. We've both also got the two gyms so you'll get to use all of these facilities at Chosen Hill School. Over the course of the year we've had some amazing performances at Chosen Hill and you'll get the opportunity to take part in some of those. For a start we've had the Year 7 netball team who've been unbeaten all season. So brilliant performances from them. We've had the year seven rugby teams where we've had three teams competing against all the local schools and some fantastic performances and victories in those as well. Year seven girls football we started this year um, with much more gusto and we've had lots of success with them and we've got Erin Freeman who's currently signed for Aston Villa and we've got Emily Birchley who's signed for Bristol City. Um, Across the whole school we have high levels of performance and we demand a lot from our students and as a result we see many of them going on to, to do more representative things as well. So again in netball, Jane Taylor and Ella Powell Davis are both playing for seven stars. Um, Nat Natalie Collins is in the Nova Academy and that's just a name but a few. In football we had three district teams in the finals last year and we have two current district champion groups. We've got Ethan Ingram playing for England at the moment. We've got Toby Wakefield and Harry Johns playing for, the, for Gloucestershire. In rugby, we've got James Smith who's representing his district. We've got Nathan Thompson Lee who's representing Gloucestershire. In basketball, we've got two undefeated teams in the district. And in cross country, we've got Toby Scott and Alice Stahlberg who are all wor working towards that national level in their own sports. If you come to Chosen Hill School, we will push you, hopefully, beyond your limits. And you'll get those opportunities to do everything you would like to do, but also we're going to challenge you to do things that are out of your comfort zone and hopefully start representing different teams in different places. So look forward to seeing you. Thanks very much. I'm one of the PE teachers here at Chosen Hill School. Um, 
as well as all of the other girls' sports, I focus a lot on gymnastics and dance at Chosen Hill. We've been building the profile of gym and dance over the past few years. We've introduced house gymnastics and dance where you compete in your houses, the four houses, Khan, Scott, Whittle and Macefield, and they all work in year groups to produce dances and gymnastics that we then watch and we grade you on so you can add to house points within the house system. We've also got a large production that we do every other year for the gym, which is the Gym and Dance Show, where we try to showcase as much gymnastics and dance as possible, looking at different styles of gym and dance. So you'll be working as pairs, you'll be working individually, where we've got our solo acts. Also, we try to do as many group dances and group routines as possible, where you can work with your friends and you get to meet lots of friends across the year groups. We have a cheerleading squad as well, which always are one of the standout pieces at our gym and dance shows. So hopefully that might be an area that you want to get involved in if you've never tried um, cheerleading before. We work alongside drama and music very closely. Recently we worked on the Cats production together where we had a lot of our dancers that had been in the house gym and dance and the gym and dance shows taking part in that which they thoroughly enjoyed and it gave them a flavour of what's on offer in drama and music as well. Um, so hopefully you will like to be involved in our weekly clubs for gym and dance but also like to get involved in gym and dance outside of school where we try to push dancers into and gymnasts into different genres of dance that they may not have tried before. So hopefully see you when you're doing gym and dance in lessons and at the clubs. Bye! to look at two workshops from the Art, Design and Technology faculty in the school. Two of nine workshops focused on enabling children to get involved in fine art, photography, uh, 3D design and the full range of art disciplines. It's part of our efforts to ensure that children have an opportunity to find their talents and to find the things that they would like to do in their future lives. We place a particular emphasis on care and support in the school. We have a very well-developed uh, professional student support services. We have senior progress coordinators who oversee a curriculum phase, one working particularly with Key Stage 4 and those students working towards GCSEs, and one overseeing the foundation phase to ensure that students make a really effective and rapid transition from primary school. They are supported by a year lead for each cohort. And whilst they are responsible for the personal and social development of all the young people in their care, they also have a very close eye on their progress because it is their academic success that they track as well as their personal development. But you will know, as well as that academic success, you want your child to be happy. And we make sure that we put the provisions around to ensure that they will be. We have a student and families welfare officer who works with families who are in difficult circumstances. We have an attendance team who supports young people who struggle to come to school and we make sure that those team together include all of our young people in this fully comprehensive school. I'd like to introduce you to Tom Webb, who is one of our year leads, who's going to tell you a little bit about the pastoral system here at Chosen Hill School. Okay, so at Chosen Hill School we have a three-tiered approach to the pastoral structure. Sitting at the top of that is the Senior Progress Coordinator and their job is to oversee behaviour and attendance for all year groups in the school. The second tier would then come in at my level, which is a year lead, and part of my role is to oversee progress, uh, behaviour, attendance, punctuality, and the general, um, making sure that you're all okay, happy and safe at school. Below that, we've got the tutor structure, and they are known as your learning mentors. Now, 
The learning mentor will be the most important person that you will meet at Chosen Hill School. They are the first person that you will meet when you come into the school and they will start your day off. So when you come to Chosen Hill School, you'll go straight into tutor time to meet your new learning mentor and you'll have 25 minutes with them at the start of the day. They make sure that you are safe, that you are happy and that you have all the uh, ingredients to make sure that you have a positive day at Chosen Hill School. And in some cases, they will help you do your tie up when you first start the school. I'd like to introduce you to Kate Stoneman, our SEND inclusion lead. Okay, talk to us about how SEND and inclusion are organised at Chosen Hill School. So Send and Inclusion is a really important part of our school community at Chosen Hill. Um, we like to think about um, students all as individuals um, and try as much as possible um, in making sure that we support them based on their own personal needs. Um, we have a really strong graduated pathway at Chosen Hill um, that looks at student needs and the level of intervention that they may require to make sure that they get the support to make great progress um, whilst they're here. Um, we have students at what we call level one, which is our school support, um, and those students have a student passport, which helps to share bits of information to our staff in school um, and provide them with strategies that may help them to support those students in their classroom. Um, above that, we have students where they might need a little bit more intervention from SEND. So those that are on SEND support, um, and it may be that they're supported um, occasionally um, outside of the classroom, um, but most of the support again continues in our classroom um, where they're going to have that access to the specialist teachers. Um, and then above that we also then have some students that have educational health and care plans um, and that's those students where we have the most complex needs um, and they're supported again throughout the school in a number of different ways um, and most of those students would also be supported by our learning assistants in school. Okay, here and you've got to match up the correct one to the right definition. Our personal and ethical studies programme runs in discrete curriculum time and it was recognised as part of our award as a, men as a mental health champion school. The programme covers all aspects of individual development, from finance education to managing risk, relationships and cyber safety. Chosen Hill School was featured on ITV News as the pilot school for a cyber project for online safety now being rolled out nationally. I'd like to introduce you to Miss Ellie Moss, who is our Head of Year 7 and who will be the year lead for the new year group in September 2021. Hello there, my name is Miss Moss and I am Year 7 lead. Um, I have two Year 7s who have just started with us in September and they're going to tell you a little bit about their experience um, of the transition from primary to secondary school. This is Steph and this is Matthew. On the first day of um, Year 7, Year seven, it was quite scary and nerve-wracking, but on the first lesson, I made a lot of friends, and it just felt like home for the past week, uh, first week, and uh, I just felt safe in Chosen Hill. It's fun, it's uh, it's a happy place, and I just love it. Hello, my name is Matthew Illesley, and I've been a student at Chosen Hill for about two weeks now, and I absolutely love it. What I love about this beautiful school is that they don't make things easy, they like to challenge you to your best of your ability and the sports here are just great, as are the normal lessons such as English, Math, Science, etc. I think you would fit perfect into this school and I hope you have a great rest of the year. The first thing I would say about mental health at Chosen Hill School is that we view mental health and physical health on the same continuum. So if a student presents in school with a mental health concern, the first thing we would do is triage them so we have a real better understanding of what that concern is. Now that concern may be at a low level and so the student would have a conversation with their learning mentor who's been trained in mental health first aid. It may be something that's a little more serious and what we call a moderate concern. 
And we have a mental health support team that works in the school as part of being a Trailblazers leading school in Gloucestershire. And there are ed educational mental health care practitioners who will support your child. It could be something even more serious than that, and we also have a trained counsellor in school who can support with the most acute concerns when students present that way. The one thing I will, would like to assure you is that we treat mental health seriously at Chosen Hill and we will ensure that your child will be well supported as they progress through the school. I'd like to introduce you to Landon and Holly who are Year 9 students so they've been at Chosen Hill a little bit longer and they're going to tell you a bit about their experiences at the school. Landon. What I love about Chosen Hill School is the opportunity to meet loads of new teachers and do lots of fun activities. At Christmas I got to take part in a talent show which is really fun and it brings the whole school community together. There's also this really good week called Enrichment Week where you get to choose between lots and lots of different activities or go abroad to France or Germany to learn whilst hanging out with your friends. Here at Chosen Hill School I love the wide range of sporting activities and house competitions. Personally, I've taken part in many different sport teams, which is great for anyone, no matter their ability. In the future, I hope to be a footballer, which is why I've taken PE for my GCSE. Towards the start of the year, I also participated in house music, which is a great way to show your music talent through house team fun. Hello and welcome, I'm Melissa and I am head girl. I study philosophy, photography and PE at A level. I'm Will, I'm head boy and I study Spanish, economics and biology. We have just started year 13 at Chosen Hill 6th form. We would usually be addressing you in a full school hall, but for obvious reasons this can't happen at the moment. Regardless of the current situation, I think it's fair to say that both myself and Melissa would never have pictured ourselves addressing you all as parents and prospective students when we were sat in this hall making this major decision and listening to the head boy and head girl, Alex and Ellie, seven years ago. It is a great privilege to continue this strong tradition of student leadership, both for ourselves and also all the house captains and council leaders taking responsibility for many events that embody the great community spirit of Chosen Hill School. Interestingly, Alex returned with other members of the student leadership team to be the guest speakers at last year's Celebration of Success evening and gave a fantastic talk about his university studies and now PhD research into biodiversity. I wonder if we will be invited back for your celebration evening. As a student, I have found Chosen Hill very stimulating academically. Our teachers are truly passionate about their subjects and always push to us to the level that they know that we can perform at, providing both amazing individual and class-wide support. Our learning mentors or form tutors are also a key part of this academic success. From year seven, you will be in the same class right throughout school. This helps build lasting friendships, but these groups wouldn't be so valuable without our excellent learning mentors, who provide individual support regarding students' entire range of subjects and also general well-being. This supportive and hard-working atmosphere has inspired me to succeed in my GCSEs, continue on to A-levels, and apply to study international business management with Spanish at some of the top universities in the country, such as Bristol. A key aspect of what makes Chosen Hill such a brilliant school as a student is a sense of community built on annual events celebrating a range of passions for music, drama and sport, but also debating, science, poetry and even D&D clubs. Students have opportunities to participate and gain experiences in small or large groups across the school and go beyond the classroom with educational visits. We would like to share a taste of just a few of these experiences with you now. Annual events such as house music really stand out as aspects of being at Chisholm Hill which really help foster this community feel. Everyone from Year 7 to Year 13 gets involved which is a great way of making friends for throughout the school. Led by the sixth form house captains, this is definitely a tradition that embodies the Chosen Hill spirit. It is these standout elements which help build a school community that thrives and help motivate us to learn. The school productions, gym and dance shows and music concerts are professional and highly challenging for students to be involved in at every stage. Musicians, directing, stage productions, lighting and sound, not to mention the fantastic acting opportunities. 
In year six, we had the amazing opportunity to see our first show at Chosen Hill, The Wizard of Oz. Flying monkeys, pyrotechnics, and not to mention a yellow brick road and a real dog. The sound of music, which is Miss Harrison's favourite, could easily have been mistaken for a West End production. Play On, a play within a play, written and directed by the head of drama, was a heartwarming story of education and the power of theatre to change lives. bringing the gymnastics and dance together with music and drama in an absolute explosion of action, fun and spectacle. <laughs> I hope what we shared with you has given you a little more insight into why we love this school so much and encourage you to continue your educational journey here. Thank you for watching. I'd like to share with you, as prospective parents, why I believe this is an excellent school for young people to undertake their secondary education. Chosen Hill School is about students experiencing and achieving success. Success in all its many and important forms. Success academically, progress and achievement in learning. Success as happy and rounded young adults prepared to meet the challenges of this ever more complex world. And success in their personal and social development to build positive and rewarding relationships with others. If this is what you are looking for for your child, Chosen Hill offers it all. <laughs>